We love Tuesdays. It's the Springfield's best day. We get to connect with the best businesses around. And today we're joined by Chef Justin Merrick from Hilton Garden Inn. And we love when you're here because you always make us such good food. Yes. <laughs> it's not a prerequisite, but glad, we enjoy it. Glad to be here. It's always fun to see you guys. Yeah. yeah. And tell us, how, how have you been enjoying being a member of Springfield's Best? It's great. It's uh, we, I get to come on here and do this, which is fun. And um, we, the hotel gets some good exposure. And so it's just a great thing for the community and local businesses. Mm -hmm. I love that. Yeah. I, was, I, I think I've said it every time you're on here, but... Um, um, that's where I stayed when I came out for my audition in February, mm -hmm. and I love it. Yeah. It's such a great it's, hotel. It's the a, food is amazing. The food's great. The the, the ambiance, the hotel, the rooms, it's just a nice place. Yeah. Yes, it is. And can, can ordinary average Joes walk in and eat the food? Sure, yeah. Come in. Uh, we, we have dinner from 5 to 9, and uh, we... Uh, we offer a 15% discount for locals, Ooh. which is great. Mm -hmm. And we have a full service bar. And so, yeah, it's a great place to come in and have dinner. All right, should we get to it? Cause I know you gotta cook some chicken. Sure, yeah. Today we're gonna, we're gonna walk and roll. We're gonna make some uh, chicken lo mein. Okay. You know, I kind of wanted to continue the theme from last time of things that people can't, or think they can't make at home, but that they can. Uh -huh. I think even the Beatles said, yellow mein, it isn't really all that hard, you know. Yes, yes. it's something that you can make at home. Oh, I love it. <laughs> <laughs> so. Chicken lo mein, sounds intimidating, it's not really. Get yourself a wok. If, if you don't have a wok, you know, um, a, a good heavy duty cast iron pan will do. Mm -hmm. um, but the wok is traditional. You wanna, you wanna get it really good and hot. They call that the wok hay. The, the, the wok hay? Wok hay, getting the wok really hot. I, I actually worked in a Chinese restaurant for a few years here in town. It's okay. uh, one of the better known places, you know, for cashew chicken. Okay, um, yes. But so I learned a lot there. Oh, nice. um, and I've worked for that chef a few times actually, and he's a good mentor of mine, Wing Leong. And so we're gonna get this pan Good and hot. It's taking a second. It is taking a second. Sorry yes. about that. But Chinese food is something that's fun to do. Uh, it's it's interactive. The family yeah. likes it. You know, it's it's. I've actually had um, stir fry parties where I'll set out all the kinds of topping or you know different vegetables and meats and things and let people build their own. You know, oh, stir fun. fry. Yeah. So, and you can get, get some lo mein or get some rice to serve it with, or you can make fried rice, and it's just everyone gets to make their own thing, you know? Question for you. Yeah. I've heard that when you're trying to make at home fried rice, it should be like a day or two old. Yes, you want day old, like cold rice. Cold oh. rice. Oh. Otherwise, yes. it gets sticky and gummy. Ooh, it's smoking now. So, we're getting hot here, yeah. you can tell. So, we're going to hit it with a good amount of oil because it is stir frying. Mm -hmm. I'm backing up just a little. And one of the things about Chinese food is. That, that chicken or the beef, it's always got this really nice texture, really tender. Yeah. That's a, that's a process called velvetizing, in which you'll take your chicken, cut it up, and then uh, take an egg, beat that, and put a little bit, just enough beaten egg to coat the egg, and then cornstarch. And you'll put cornstarch oh. just enough to soak up the egg. Good. And there's a marination, I think there's an enzymatic reaction actually that goes on there between the egg yolk and the chicken, which makes it that nice tender texture we always get in the stir fried chicken. Yeah. Look out. Oh, wow. Watch that's how fast that's cooking. Really walk and cooking. roll, everyone. Walk and roll. Walk and roll. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah, when I worked at the Chinese restaurant, we called it the white boy walk station. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to get that chicken going, getting a little color on it. Oh, then we're going to start adding our vegetables kind of in the order of the length of time it's going to take them to cook. So we're going to get some carrot in there, because carrots are hard. Yeah. They take a little longer. If you Is it can't, all right to have crunchy carrots, though, in a... In you, a want, you want your vegetables to still have a little bite you yeah. know, in a stir fry. You don't want them mushy and soft. So those are julienne carrots. If you can't cut them up like that, I used a mandolin, but you can just slice the carrot in half, cut it uh, lengthwise or you know on a bias, like at an angle, get it nice and thin. So next we're gonna go in with our mushrooms. mushrooms. Oh, I love mushrooms. Get those cooking. Yummy. See, we got some nice color on the chicken there. I'm kind of surprised too. The only thing you put in there so far is the oil. Yeah. There's no seasonings at all. You're the seasoning's all gonna come at the end here. And this, okay. this looks kind of intimidating. It's a lot of things, but you know, make one trip to your local Asian market. Mm -hmm. We have at least three here in town that are really great. Yeah. And support a local business. Go get all your different things, and this will last a long time in your pantry because we're only going to use a little bit of each one. Yeah. So you'll be able to make lots of stir fries out of that. Oh, I want to make this. Awesome. Now. Okay, so those red are bell. red bell peppers. Yep, okay. red bell pepper for a little color and a little sweetness. Oh, uh, you made that look so easy. And then is that's not lettuce? Is that cabbage? That is Napa cabbage. Napa cabbage. Yes, okay. sometimes called Chinese cabbage, but yeah, it's it's a lot more tender than your normal regular head of cabbage. Yeah. <clears throat> so we're getting that going. Gonna go in with the cabbage last, and that looks like a lot, but it's gonna shrink down. Cabbage tends to do that. Uh huh. Kind of like spinach. You think you're putting a lot in, but you really not. Right. I know, right? right? It's you like can, you five can cook handfuls. Three three pounds of spinach and end up with this much. Yeah. yeah. That's so true. But, <laughs> 
So we've got that going. I'm going to add just a touch more oil to the pan now. All right. Now we've got all that in there. Gosh, it looks so beautiful. If you wanted to add something like broccoli, you uh -huh. know, something that takes a little longer to cook, you'd want to blanch that uh, in boiling water for a few minutes before going into the wok. And a great way to do that would be, as you're boiling your lo mein noodles, just put them in with the noodles for the last uh -huh. couple. To like soften them? Yeah, just a to get bit. them a little okay. bit softened because they wouldn't get fully cooked in the amount of time we're stir frying here. Yeah. Okay. So just throw those in the last couple minutes of boiling your pasta and it's good to go. Okay. Good to know. Wow. I want to flip a pan like that. Yeah. You know, a great, a great way to practice is get a saute pan and fill it with dry beans or rice. Uh -huh. And somewhere where you're not afraid of making a mess. Yeah. Because <laughs> you're going you're gonna, to you're gonna screw up a few times. But just practice with the beans or rice. And it's sort of a forward, back, down, forward, back, down, forward, back, down. All right. You know, when I first started learning to flip a saute pan, a chef wing, I, 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 got, I got the hang of it with my right hand. And I was like, hey, check it out. I got this. And he goes, that's good. Can you do it with your left hand? Oh! <laughs> no. Non-dominant. <laughs> no. Okay, so then eventually you got a hang of that. Yeah. So now we're going to go in with the noodles. Okay. This is where the wok ladle comes in handy because you don't want to bust up the noodles, break them up with the edge of the, the ladle because in Chinese culture, long noodles signify good luck. Ooh, oh! Prosperity. So you don't want to cut, cut your noodles up by digging into them with this real bad. Uh. Yeah. So right meow. We're gonna take this off the heat and start with the saucy portion. Okay. You just say right meow. <laughs> a friend of mine dared me to say meow. While uh, I, was I love it. Good, good ear, Maddie. You got yeah. it, Logan. <laughs> so we're gonna hit it with a bit of soy sauce. All right. Maybe just a touch more. That's our salty component. A lot of Asian food is all about the balance of salty, sweet, sour, spicy, getting uh -huh. all those flavors. And different things will be sweeter and different things will be spicier. But we're going for a well-rounded flavor here. Okay. It smells amazing. So we're going to add a little bit of sugar. Ooh. Sugar. Oh. You got to have that balance. Salty, sweet, sour, spicy. I never thought to do that. Okay. Go back on Chef, the heat a little bit. We're getting down to about maybe a minute. If we All right. Just Let's get it going. Time cue. This is Chinese cooking wine called Mirin. Okay. A little sesame oil for a toasty flavor. Just a dash. This is rice wine vinegar. That's mm -hmm. going to be our sour component. Oh my gosh. And then for the spicy, because we're not really trying to make it spicy, spicy, but this is a sambal olic. It's a chili garlic sauce. Okay. And we're just going to add just a touch of that. Ooh, that looks good. And this would be enough for two people. That was just one chicken breast and some veggies. If you were making a larger batch for a family, you know, um, make it in batches because you don't want to overcrowd the wok because mm -hmm. it'll cool it down too much. Oh, okay. Maddie, if I was making this at home, that would be just for me, though. Uh, yeah. <laughs> if you're really hungry. So here's a good portion coming off the heat. Oof. Yummy. I've got some forks, and if you're into it, some chopsticks right there, and you guys can dig in. Dude, wait, what what about pretty things? Oh, yes. yeah. I forgot to add those at the end, but no, those would have gone at the very end. Scallions, <laughs> I know, right? scallions just for, you know, a little brightness and color and freshness. Okay. Is it rude that we're going to use a fork? Oh, Maddie's using I'm going to try. Maddie, I'm you're so try. brave. I was like, I don't trust myself on this. Thank okay, you. Here we go. All right, it's pretty hot. Give it a blow, probably. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we can see the, the steam heat. I want some of those noodles, I want some chicken. Okay, I am I not some... doing this correctly. I know there's a way you have to hold them, but. <laughs> okay, like... Any way you can make it work. Don't burn yourself. Mm. Remember you burnt yourself yesterday. Yeah, perfect. <laughs> the... mm. Mm. That is so good. That's perfect. You can taste all those flavors. Yeah. Salty, sweet, sour, spicy. Mm -hmm. And that, you're right, that That's was great. easier than I would expect and I would How think long I did that take? This. That yeah. was five T minutes? TV time, five minutes. minutes. Yeah. Oh my gosh, Chef, mm. that's amazing. Chef Justin, okay, this is great. If people want to come by and taste your food, where are you located, what's your website? Hilton Garden Inn, uh, 4155 South Nature Center Way in the Farmer's Park development. Come try mm. us out. Yeah, and if you're visiting, stay there. Yeah, it's yeah. great. Friends and family. <laughs> so good. <laughs> the wine is good and the food is amazing. Thank you. <laughs> All right, thank you, Chef Justin. Coming up, we'll be joined by the creators of a new musical coming to the Galois Theater, Drew and Leah Lachey. Coming up next, don't go that anywhere. That is really good, though.